It's been credited with creating the American middle class after the Second World War. The Service Members Readjustment Act of 1944, better known as the GI Bill. It allowed millions of military veterans to go to college and it became law 70 years ago tomorrow. CBS News special correspondent James Brown has the story of one man whose entire life and family changed forever thanks to the GI Bill. It was founded in 1811. Nathaniel Boone is well versed in the history of his adopted hometown, Manchester, Vermont. But the 86 year old retired attorney has made a bit of history himself. In 1946, he was one of the first African Americans to integrate the Marines. He joined with one goal in mind to use the GI Bill to get to college. My father had died in 1942, and my mother was sick with tuberculosis, and they didn't have the money to send me to college. I heard that there was a GI Bill, and if I served two years, that would give me four years of college. So it was a stepping stone to what you were hoping to accomplish right. in life. Right. Why the Marines? They had a nicer uniform. <laughs> But joining the Marines would be no laughing matter for the 18-year-old New Jersey native. He would have to travel south by bus to Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Washington, D.C. was where the segregation really started. How so? What happened in Washington, D.C.? I had to sit in the back of the bus. The bus trip was only the beginning for Boone in his quest for a college education. There was Montford Point. Montford Point was a little section of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, and it was constructed to accommodate the black Marines, and it was a swamp. A swamp? A swamp, where there were snakes of all kinds. But the officers in charge proved to be a bigger challenge. It was the white officers and the white enlisted men who didn't want us. But you were treated decently by the white officers? I was treated uh, decently because I had no contact with them. But there were others who, a little before me, who served. They told me a story of one of the officers would come out in the morning and immediately ask, uh, how are my niggas doing today? Excuse me? How are my niggas doing today? That was the greeting. That was the greeting, yes. However, Nathaniel Boone would not be deterred. He finished his basic training, served two years as a radar specialist, and matriculated to Bates College in Lewiston, Maine in 1948. I don't know what I would have done if the GI Bill had not been there. It established the middle class of people in the United States because in those days you were either rich or you were poor. Many of the veterans that used the GI Bill after World War II, they were the first of their families to have ever gone to college. Curtis Coy is deputy undersecretary at the VA. He's in charge of administering today's GI Bill. Coy says the original legislation, which educated 8 million World War II veterans, was indeed a game changer for men like Nathaniel Boone. The original GI Bill, or the Service Members Readjustment Act of 1944, provided $500 a year in tuition and about $50 a month in living expenses. Back in 1944, a gallon of milk was about uh, 21 cents. A loaf of bread was about 9 cents. So those living uh, expenses were quite significant to the veteran back then. Nathaniel Boone's life changed when he went to Bates. He met his wife Harriet there. They've been married for 56 years. And Boone went on to law school at Boston University, working various jobs at the post office and scrubbing floors in restaurants to make it through. You were very enterprising. <laughs> I had to be. I had no money. <laughs> and not afraid of hard work? No. I wanted to become a lawyer. I wanted to become a professional person. He embarked on a 50-year legal career, and he and Harriet raised two professionals of their own. Son Peter is an orthopedic surgeon, and daughter Daryl is a head librarian at Harvard. The Boones retired here in Manchester and now boast three Ivy League-educated grandsons. Your dogged pursuit of a college education has not only been personal, it's been generational. Mm -hmm. Your kids and your kids' kids. That started it. Been very, very, very lucky. Yes, our kids have done very well, and I'm very, very proud of them. I attribute everything which I've done and what I am today to the GI Bill of Rights. 
you receive the highest civilian honor. In 2012, the United States government finally honored the Montford Point Marines for their service. And Nathaniel Boone was one of about 200 surviving veterans to receive the Congressional Gold Medal in the nation's capital. But for the Marine Corps, I would not have gone to college. There would be no college. There would be no uh, Harriet. There wouldn't be the life that I live. That's a good picture. And what a life Nathaniel Boone has lived. For CBS This Morning Saturday, James Brown, Manchester, Vermont. More than 20 million vets have received college education since the original GI Bill in 1944 at a cost of $120 billion. Today's post-9-11 bill pays for just under $20,000 in annual tuition, plus an average housing allowance of $1,500 a month. What an incredible family. What a trailblazer and so humble. Yeah, and I can't tell you how many, how many people over the years have told me, the you know, same story, they went to college, their whole life changed because of GI Bill.